What is up everybody? Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are having a great day. So in this video, we're going over the latest stimulus news and the latest news around your social security benefits. I'll be telling you exactly when you should expect to receive a third stimulus check if you are on SSI, SSDI, and any federal benefit. So you do not want to miss out on this very important video. On this channel, I always provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. So folks, be sure to stay until the end of this video to find out when you should expect to receive a stimulus check from the IRS. Hello everyone, how are you? Great. I want to uh, thank uh, Administrator Guzman uh, who run this show for us and we're really starting to move here. And the Vice President, thank you. Your focus on small business, we're pushing uh, lenders to raise their game and provide more help to the small, many small businesses you know, particularly Hispanic as well as African-American small businesses are just out of business because they got bypassed the first time around. Today I'm proud to sign the extension, which I'm going to do in a second, of the Paycheck Protection Program. It is a bipartisan accomplishment. Now, one thing's for sure, everybody. A fourth stimulus check is definitely on its way. More than 100 million Americans have already received a stimulus payment. The IRS is sending payments later this week for those of you that are on SSI, SSDI, and social security benefits. The IRS has just announced when you can receive your stimulus check of $400. The IRS and the Treasury announced Tuesday that they will begin issuing stimulus checks this weekend to social security recipients and other federal beneficiaries. And that's great news folks, because that means if you guys are on SSI, SSDI and social security, you should expect to receive a stimulus check in the coming days. Folks, I personally believe that you guys should have gotten a stimulus check first before anybody else. Those of you that are our seniors, you should have received it. You should have received a stimulus check first before any other group out there. But it's great to see that the IRS is finally stepping up to the plate and sending out the $400 payments to those of you that need it the most. By the way, everybody, did you guys get a $400 stimulus check? Tell me down in the comments. Now the IRS had to go through multiple steps of reviewing and validating payment files that were sent from the Social Security Administration. The SSA sent documents for 30 million eligible people. The third stimulus check is for up to $400 per person are finally being sent out and it's going to be available for you that are on supplemental security income, social security, disability insurance, and VA benefits. The IRS claims that it projects the majority of stimulus payments to be sent electronically and be received by people on April 7th. Yes folks, on April 7th, you should expect to receive a $400 stimulus check and it's going to be sent to you by direct deposit. Now just a reminder everybody, I want you guys to make sure that you have all your very important bank information on file with the IRS. That way, it's going to make it easier for them, the IRS, to send you a $400 stimulus check. And once you do all of that, you should expect to receive a stimulus payment on April 7th. That's only in a couple of days, everybody. Well, as African-American small businesses are just out of business because they got bypassed the first time around. Today, I'm proud to sign the extension, which I'm going to do in a second, of the Paycheck Protection Program. It is a bipartisan accomplishment. Nearly 90,000 businesses are still in line, and uh, there's money left. Without somebody signing this bill today, there are hundreds of thousands of people who would lose their jobs, and small and family businesses that might close forever. And as you know, a small business is the backbone of our economy, representing almost 50% of all the employees in America. And I want to thank Senators Carter, Shaheen, Rubio, and Collins uh, for their work in the Senate, this bipartisan effort, and Young Kim and uh, Velasquez, as well as Luke Meyer, uh, uh, for their uh, work in the House to make sure this happened. And the last two months, we've approved forgivable loans for 3,000, three, excuse me, 3 million 600 small businesses, 600,000 small businesses. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President, who should pay for your infrastructure plan? Mr. President, who should pay for the infrastructure plan? So what this means, guys, is that you can receive your payment through a direct deposit or on your direct express or on your direct express card if you already have one. Now, if you guys don't receive a stimulus check by April 7th, be sure to check your mailbox for a paper check or an EIP card. Remember, guys, stimulus checks are being sent in different ways. Some of you will receive a stimulus check through the mail as a paper check or as a prepaid debit card like the Direct Express or an EIP card, also known as a stimulus payment card. So folks, be sure to check your mailbox for the third stimulus check. In addition, 
Social Security recipients, and other Americans who do not normally file a tax return or didn't file taxes in 2019 or 2020, can also expect a stimulus payment to be processed this weekend. This is also what the Treasury Department said on Tuesday. So folks, over the weekend, which is April 3rd and April 4th, the IRS and the Treasury Department will begin processing your stimulus check. So it's good to see that the IRS and the Treasury Department are finally doing their job in helping you guys receive a stimulus check. Like I said before, many of the payments will be sent via direct deposit and will be in your bank account by April 7th. My fellow Americans, look at what we have done in the past 10 weeks. No other country has come close. 100 million shots in less than 60 days. And now we're moving to the next 100 million shots in just 40 days. You heard me say many times before, our progress on vaccination is a stunning example that there is nothing, nothing this country cannot do if we put our minds to it and we do it together. But as I've also said, I will always give you it straight, straight from the shoulder. Our work is far from over. The war against COVID-19 is far from won. This is deadly serious. We share the sentiment of Dr. Walensky, the head of the Center for Disease Control and, and Prevention. The CDC expressed earlier today, this is not a time to lessen our efforts. That's what she said. We could still see a setback in the vaccination program. And most importantly, if we let our guard down now, we could see a virus getting worse, not better. You know, as many people as we vaccinated, we still have more Americans left to go. You know, we will administer more shots in March than any country on Earth. But even so, we have to give more shots in April than we did in March. Because we're in the life and death race with the virus that is spreading quickly, with cases rising again, new variants are spreading, and sadly, some of the reckless behavior we've seen on television over the past few weeks means that more new cases are to come in the weeks ahead. With vaccines, there's hope, which is, uh, which is a very good thing to state the obvious. But people are, le are, 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 are letting up on precautions, which is a very bad thing. Look, to this point, cases have fallen two-thirds since I took office. Deaths have also fallen two-thirds. But now cases are going back up. Now, in some states, deaths are as well. You know, we're giving up hard-fought, hard-won gains. And as much as we're doing, America, it's time to do even more. All of us have to do our part, every one of us. So let me start here. First, this week, thanks to my administration's intensive work with vaccine manufacturers and distribution efforts,